Welcome to Sports Fans, welcome back to another very special episode. I'm your host Joe Mar. I'm Rush. And this is the at Sports TV, the place you guys come to get the best, most interesting and riveting sports topics, discussions and debates on the internet. Yes people, but before we get into today's video, don't forget to like this one. Leave a comment under the video and subscribe to the at Sports TV. Why do you want to move? Importantly, Share the video to at least 10 people but ensure that each and every one of you guys watching right now can get us 6 subscribers because if each one of you guys get us 6 subscribers do you know how many subscribers that would get us by the end of the day? Yes sir! And it's Manning Cup team feature time again and we're finishing not even finishing but we're still on our St. Captain run Yes sir! You know we went to Portmore we, went, we, we did St. Diego No, no we went to St. Captain yeah. St. Diego now we're at Jose Martin, Martin yeah? Technical High School Bro, Spain Town really come out to the badness this bro, year. Bro, them ass feet, we have to give them. Yes, we give them the man, so we got, we got sent captain. And we're here. Bro, what do you expect from this uh, feature today? Um, I definitely expect uh, to see Mesam, mm -hmm. their goalkeeper. You know, I've been really impressed with him throughout the season thus far. And I really want to hear about him, not only as a leader of this team, but as a goalkeeper. You know, I also want to see them how organized and unified they are in training. You know, Jose Marti is not necessarily known for their football purse, mm -hmm. but doing very well this season, you know, making waves. So I just love to see that. I love to see the inner workings of that. True. I, I want to speak to the, the coach, bro, and see what's going on in this program. You know, coming into the Manning Cup, a lot of people wouldn't predict Jose Marti to go to the second round. Yeah. But they are in the second round. That's a they surprise. So I want to see what caused that. You know, I want to see, you know, what, what's in the, the mentalities of the boys. I want yeah. to, you know, see, see some of the other leaders on the team and see what they're talking about. For sure. You know, so, I also want to see some football play. You know, we love yeah, to see some yeah, leather yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, for sure. We want to see that. But yeah, I feel like we'll be getting to it still. Yeah, man, because we're always in this one only for talking and less going into the schools and watching the boys, you know? Okay. So without further ado. You ready? Let's go. All right. Fuck so weird. All right, people, we're here with the um, first interview of the day um, with the Jose Marti. Manning Cup coach, please introduce yourself, coach. Patrick Lewis, coach of the Austin Martin Technical Eye. All right, without further ado, let's just get right into it. All right, coach, talk to me about uh, your involvement with this program. How long have you been at Austin Martin High School? Well, Technical High School, sorry. Basically, I'm here like um, four or five years now. Mm. Yes, um, when, I, when I came to this school, um, we didn't really have a program per se. So, what I did, uh, I put forward. Um, uh, I put a proposal to the school saying that um, we need to go on a three-year program. Um, at the end of the day, when the three-year comes, um, there comes COVID. So we couldn't um, get to matriculate um, in whatever we wanted to do. So we go on a next two-year drive. So this is the result that we are getting from that two-year drive. Basically, um, we have a program going because we have a good um, youth program. Our under 14 make it to the second round, the last time around. This time around, they never make it. They missed the second round by a point. The under 16 didn't do well, but we are benefiting from the under 14 and the under 16. So, in other words, we basically have a program going. That's why we could feed three um, teams in last year's competition. My name is Gavin Mesam and I attend the Ozemati Technical High School. Gavin, tell us, how old are you? I'm 18 years old. Uh, so this, is, this is your last year or second to last year? Can you tell last me year, last this year. is your last year. Um, how does it feel to be captain of Ozemati High? Um, I was captain of the course team from 9th grade and um, captain role is, is to be um, disciplined, be there for your teammates and um, show them the right and the wrongs. Right, on the pitch, yes. what do you do as a captain? Tell us the type of captain you are on the pitch. Um, I'm a cool collective captain, but um, when, when um, they're doing wrong, I have to point it out and um, instruct them to do the right. My name is Shemar Kevin Anchard. I play at the Mighty Technical High School team. All right. Which position do you play? Um, attacking midfield and anywhere in the forward line. Right. How old are you? 16 years old. Right. Are you one of the leaders of this team? Yes, I was the captain. But my keeper is a more communicative person, so I pass it down to him to let him handle the job. But well, you pass it down? Yes. Hey, hey, that is a sign of a leader. You know, seeing somebody else that can be fit to lead this group and you put him, put him there. Um, how do you feel about that? What's the dynamic between you guys now? 
it's a good relationship with, with players like as a family, brother. So no problem with the team. All right. Um, though you are not technically or officially the captain, as you mentioned, you are one of the leaders of the team. Speak to us about your role as a leader in this current manager team. Um, I still have to communicate and push the players, keep them at the training all the time because that's what I used to do on the camp, off the camp and during school to help them with the school work, so that's it. My name is Daniel Jackson and I play central defensive midfield. Right. Yes, sir. All right, and what do you do for this team on and off the pitch? All right, as a leader on and off the pitch, I ensure that I motivate my players. I ensure that wherever they go wrong, I pinpoint and show them the mistake and encourage them to do better next time. And how old are you? I am 17 years old. 17 years old. All right, so is this your first time playing in the Money Cup? Yes, it is my first time. And how does it feel finally getting the opportunity to play in what is Jamaica's biggest schoolboy football competition? Um, I have always wanted to play in Jamaica's biggest football competition. I know that my dream has come true. I will live up to it and ensure that whatever I'm supposed to do, I'll do it on and off the pitch. All right, so um, coach, obviously you're implementing a plan and we're here to speak about the money cup, right? And that first two-year plan, now two-year plan, has culminated in this 2022 money cup season. Speak to us about the preparation for this particular season and how did you feel going into this season? Well, the preparation um, went as according to plan. Reason being, only thing was our problem. Um, we did want a uh, one-month camp. But we didn't get that, we get a two weeks camp, but we were um, satisfied with the work that the boys put in. Um, basically, I believe we did well during the summer in terms of our um, training program because we, 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 we camp for two weeks, we play about nine practice games, we only lost one. Yeah, so I, I guess our preparation was okay. Right, coach, and coming into this year's Money Cup season, what would have been your goal? Before we even talk about where you reach so far, well, what was the goal? Basically, everyone's goal is to win the Manning Cup. So yeah, I have to put that as a um, number one marker. However, our short-term goal was to um, come out the zone and then we take it from there. The, the way this team plays, you know, because some would have seen them play considering the season has already begun and they have um, a certain system of play. Speak to us about how you get the guys to play exactly how you want them to play. Well, basically this team is coming from the um, under 14, under 16. So basically they understand the system that we um, try to implement. So it wasn't hard to put them together for the money income because on this team we have like 14 year old. 15 year old, 16 year old, maybe I'm go, um, three players, maybe um, 17. Coach, were you pleased with the first round, with your first round performance? Well, basically, yes. We didn't, we didn't end up where we wanted to be, mm -hmm. but I'm okay with the um, performance of the boys. All right, so not only are you the captain and the leader of this team, you know, but you are also a coach. Um, one of, if not the most important position in football field. First and foremost, before we get into the interview, speak to me about the type of goalkeeper you are. Describe yourself as a footballer. Um, type of goalkeeper? I would say a wall. A wall? Yes. And give us a, give us a, a player comparison. Like, which goalkeeper do you say, would you say you play most like? Oh, um, Rimaje goalkeeper. Oh, Thibaut Courtois, that's the kind of goalkeeper. My favorite goalkeeper to keep. So, him, him understand football. I'm more of a hurricane player. Like, passes, pick out the players, and just as he score when we get the chance and don't be selfish. Alright, so we've, we've, we've seen you, we've seen you demonstrate your skill you know, in a game or two. Speak to us about how it feels to be um, expressing your talents and your skills on the biggest level in schoolboy football in Jamaica. Talk to us about that feeling. It's a great feeling because. I train for it and work hard for it. I, I am not a selfish player, so when I have the chance, I'm, I call my teammates count the assists that I'm on. They count nine assists already. Mm, nine assists and how many goals? So, three. Three nine goals. Nine assists and three goals. That's, That's a pretty solid that. season. As a player, um, most people say that I'm sure, but um, football 
most time you don't play with height, but you have to know how to read the game, know how to find your spaces, know how, when and where, how to be aware of your opponent. And I think you'll conquer it if you know all of those with the necessary lead leadership skills. Coming into the season, you guys, I'm expecting you guys to have expectations. Um, you guys are knowing the second round. Where does the result match up to the expectations that you had coming into the season? The results really prove that we should be here because it's only six goals only scoring us during the first round, three penalties and only scoreline when I get two love, three love, only one love beaten. We draw two all. Two penalties was given that much. Right, Gavin. Um, how do you feel about how did you feel about your team coming into this year's money cup and why? Um, last year we didn't perform uh, perform as we, we should have and this year we came back stronger. Alright, yeah. So you guys are in the second round of the Manning Cup this year. Yes. Um, is that a, did that come as a surprise to you? You know, a lot of people wouldn't have predicted um, Jose wanted to come out of the zone that you guys were in. So talk to me about that. Um, they um, most people classify Jose Marti as um, underdogs, and we 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 train we train um, very hard to come to um, the second round, and um, that's what that's what we did in preseason and um, executed in training, and then match match time we get um, a draw, maybe a lose or a win um, because it's supposed to pre prepare for um, three results, a draw, a lose and win and that's what we do every match. From the starting it um, was a bit sticky but together as a team we know that um, we would go through and to go through to the second round is a good feeling and it uplifts the school so we'll continue to do what is best to get the highlight for the school. All right, coach. And lastly, to wrap it up, you know, you 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 said your your goal initially was to get out of the second, and yeah. you've done that successfully. Yeah. Now, have you readjusted those goals? Do you see Jose Marti going even further and all and possibly all the way? Well, basically, we are optimistic. We are optimistic. All right. All right. All right. Tell me, ultimately, where do you see Jose Marti going? Can you guys win the Manning Cup this year? Um, I think. I think so. I think so. If we keep our mind mind to it. All right. The next one. Will Jose Marti win the money cup this year? Will uh, most definitely, man. <laughs> All right. Yes. Well, I see myself as having a chance up there as that. Just a chance? More than a chance. We can do it. It's it's just more focus. All right. Thank you for talking. Yeah, thank you. Okay. At the moment, I cannot say how far we will go, but at the level that we are playing. We know that we can reach as far as we put our mind to it. Alright, and how far have you put your mind to it? Wherever we reach. <laughs> you don't want to give us anything to put it. No, you take it, you take it. Thank you. Alright, man. There you have it. You know, we, have, we had all the interviews. How do you feel about this team, bro? People, I'm not sure if you just caught that, but that was Mesa making a save in the background. You know, um, that's one thing that, that I took from this, this feature, you know, from this team. You know, they've conceded not very many goals and there's a reason for that. Mm -hmm. You know, we spoke to a very talented central defensive midfielder and we spoke to, in my opinion, one of the best goalkeepers I've seen thus far in the Manning Cup. You know, obviously he has his problems, he has his flaws, but he has the ability to get the job done. And mm -hmm. that's basically what I got from this Jose Marti team. You know, a, a unity that is unmatched, not having as much resources as you'd hope a Manning Cup team would have, mm -hmm. but still managing to overcome those odds and you know a good coach all right bro what i take away from this is i can see that this is a team that harps their heart on um humility and hard work you can tell from the coach all the way down you know the captain all, they spoke to us with just a sense of humility they, they know that they've worked hard you know they deserve where they they deserve the spot there that they're in you know and they're just continuing to work hard you know they're preparing for you know a knockout game on the weekend and they truly believe that they can win the game they really believe so you know, a lot of people will not give them a chance in that game, but they believe it. But yet another save. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> people, as you guys can see the background, they're working on their plan to shoot out, you know. Um, Jose Marti, bro, is a good team, you know. They've performed very well in the competition thus far. You know, they have superseded expectations of many, but I think they performed just as well as they expected. Yeah. You know, they're not, you said humility. But I also saw confidence. Mm -hmm. you know, they also believe in themselves and they believe in the system, they believe in their program. And I think the sky is the limit for the Jose Marti team. Yeah, we've seen them play. They're a good team. Yeah. Jose Marti can play some football. So, 
Yeah, people, I hope you guys like this one. I hope you guys like the interviews. You know, all the clips that you see of you guys practicing. Hope you guys enjoy this feature. They deserve that feature. One second. Bro. But yet another safe again, people, by me, Sam. Yeah, I hope you have eyes in the market, sir. As I said, I'm, I'm the best goalkeeper on YouTube. So, right. being a goalkeeper, we have to have you know what's going for on. a vision. You yeah. know? So, you have to look there, you have to look everywhere. You see me? But, anyways, people, thank you so much again. We're running so fast. I keep saying thank you for 3,000. I think it would. But you have another save again, people. <laughs> uh, I, I keep saying, I keep saying, thank you for getting us to three thousand, and sooner or later we'll be at four thousand. And that's because you guys have been so good. You know, you guys have been commenting. You guys have been letting us know that you like the content. You guys have been telling us what you want us to do better, mm -hmm. and it's been noticed. Yeah. And we definitely appreciate it. So we need to continue like the videos, subscribe to this or that sports TV, and leave a comment under this one. What you want them to do? And how you want them to do it? I want you guys to share the video to at least 10 people, but ensure to get us at least six subscribers. Because if each and every one of you guys watching right now managed to get us six subscribers, you know how many subscribers that will get us by the end of the day? A lot. For now, people, this was this or that sports TV. From Jose Marti High School. We out. <laughs>